Let me tell you about these things inside. All right, guys, today we are at America's favorite golf store. Nope, through those palm trees, we are at Walmart. Today we are going to buy the cheapest golf balls at Walmart. Go and play them, see what happens. This should be fun. Stay tuned. I'm not sure if we can film in Walmart. I'll have to ask. So uh, this might be the only uh, Walmart scene that you get, but uh, maybe we'll go inside too. All right, guys, so I have confirmed we are allowed to film in the Walmart. We're walking through the toy section here, trying to find the golf section. See some basketball hoops. We must be getting close. All right, here we are, golf section. Look at this glorious section of golf at Walmart. Mind you, we are in Florida, so you would think they would have much more golf stuff. Cheapest golf balls, let's get out of here. People are staring already. All right, nope, not looking. $15 for some pinnacles. TaylorMade Distance Plus, those look pretty legit, actually. Let's see, Strixon Z-Stars. That's what we'll be comparing the uh, cheapest golf ball to. I think we're getting cheaper over here. Some Zips, Nitro, oh man, never even heard of those. $5.88 for some nitros. I'm gonna have to pick those up. Nitro Pulsar, soft matte finish technology. Nope, those are three times as much. All right, looks like we're going with the nitro. They have different colors. So uh, yeah, you might as well go with pink. Why not? Cheapest golf ball challenge, pink challenge. As, as you can see, we are out at the golf course. Super excited about this one. The nitro, made it from Walmart, survived that experience. It's always fun. Comment if you love Walmart. Comment if you ever buy any golf stuff from Walmart. I noticed the prices weren't that good. The Strixon Z-Stars, $33. We're online, they're $29.99. So uh, yeah, just noticed that. But let's get into this. The Nitros, pink, of course. Let's look at their marketing. Driver, solid off tee shots. Hybrid, soft feel for distance and accuracy. Irons, spin control from scoring irons. And then they forgot the last one, hit and stick action. I'm assuming they meant wedges. But uh, yeah, so if you've watched a lot of my golf ball testing videos, usually we just get out on the course and start hammering out, seeing which ball goes further, all of that. But this time, I think we're gonna have a little bit more strategy to it. We're gonna test it short game, then we're gonna test it distance wise, and then we're gonna play three holes of match play against my favorite golf ball, the Strixon Z-Star. So three holes match play. We'll see if those factors, distance and spin around the greens actually make a difference in score with some match play. Let's get started with short game. One thing I noticed already, this is like a giant sleeve of golf ball. There's no individual sleeves. It's just, it's just loose golf balls. So that's a difference right there. I'm gonna have to pick these up. Then we'll get started with a little, uh, about 20 yard pitch, short game. <laughs> little 20 yard uh, pitch shot, 60 degree wedge. Pitch shot, not that bad. They kind of feel like mini golf balls, but other than that, not that bad. I almost uh, hold out two of them, so uh, let's see how they are in some chip shots. Not that bad. Short chip shots, not the worst ball I've ever tested. Off the putter, they're actually surprisingly soft. Thought they were gonna be really hard, but uh, surprisingly soft. Let's go uh, see how far they are off the tee, then get into match play. All right, distance test. We're gonna hit one nitro, then one Strix on as the test control thing, and then another nitro. If you have watched any of my golf ball testing videos, it is freakish how close they are off the tee. There are the two pink nitro golf balls, 
and maybe four yards further up is the Strixon. So four yards further could be down to roll or anything, but not a huge difference. Let's go through how the ball felt, how it felt off the tee, distance, all of that kind of stuff before we get into the match play to see if those factors actually make a difference in my score. So short game, not the softest golf ball I've ever tested, didn't have the most spin, but it was decent in both of those, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be terrible. It kind of feels like crap when you hold it in the hand. It feels like a mini golf ball, putt-putt golf ball. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, distance wise, as you can see, not a huge difference. So uh, yeah, I'm interested to see if uh, just a mediocre, crappy $6 golf ball can compete against my favorite golf ball of 2018, Strixon, $30 a dozen right now. So let's go get into those three holes, match play. All right, first up we have this Strixon Z-Star. It has the honors because it was my favorite golf ball of 2018. So let's see how it plays compared to the Nitro. That was hammered. That had a strange ball flight. So first hole, big difference. Strixon right up there in the middle of the fairway. And I felt like I hit the uh, Nitro just as well, but it got really hung up at the wind, kind of knuckled. So a uh, big difference right off the bat. Let's see if it uh, makes a difference in from here. I have a feeling it will, because that's a super side hill lie. That one's in the middle of the fairway. Let's play him in. Where did that even go? Can't tell you where it went, because I have no idea, but. Sounded good. All right, as I said, I couldn't really tell where that one went. The wind is really picking up, so I apologize for any audio difficulty. That one was about 170 yards left in. This one's about 150. Using the same club though, because the wind is picked up. cut through the wind. I figured out why I could not find my ball. I was looking for it 20 yards too far up. So uh, this ball got absolutely destroyed in the wind. We are about 15 yards short of the flag, short of the green, in a bunker. Not looking good. Get up. for par, putt for birdie. Big difference so far. Got about a 20 footer for birdie with the Strix on and a 15 footer for par with the Nitro. on. Second hole, par five, 576 yards. Let's get after it. Hammered both of those off the tee. There's the nitro up here. Let's walk it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten yards further was the Strixon, but it's in the bunker. So let's see how they play in from here. The Strixon is one up so far, uh, but the nitro's in the fairway, looking good on a par five. Nitro going with the three wood because I'm in the fairway. Why not? Let's go 
play that shot out of the bunker. Three iron, because I'm in the bunker. Okay. Those should both be in the fairway. Let's play them in from there. Both of those ended up in the fairway. There's the Strix on. There's the 100 marker, and up there is the Nitro. So that's got about 85 yards left. This one's got about 110. So uh, yeah, let's see uh, some scoring wedges. Let's do it. Maso Manos. All right, Strixon's got about 35 feet left. So Nitro, here's your opening. Let's do this. It's over a hill, but I think that's close. Both birdie putts. The nitro right here has got about 35 feet. Strix zone's got about 35 feet. No real winner, but we're gonna play them in. Two pars, Nitro is still down. Let's go play a really hard hole. Nice little 200 yard par three uphill to cap it off. Strixon still one up. I hope you've been enjoying the least scientific test ever, but it's Walmart challenge, whatever. What do you expect? I don't have a launch monitor. I've got a Walmart budget. Those are probably touching. 200 yards away, and they're not quite touching, but they're about as close as we can get. I think the Nitro, I'm gonna have to hold out for this to win, but yeah, but okay, let's go. Whoa. Yo, I almost lost my foot. Alright guys, there you have it, the Strixon versus the cheapest golf ball at the Walmart, a pink Nitro golf ball. Is there a huge difference? Not as much as I thought there was going to be. Hope you enjoyed watching it. I've been John Armstrong, you've been watching Stacked Golf. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I'll see you next time.